everyone, welcome back to another episode of my Wedding Bell series. Today, I'm at my mom's house and I'm going to be working on one of my wedding projects, which is a sign. Wedding signs have become super common and they're often used as decoration, but they can also serve a purpose as well. So the sign I'll be making today will be telling guests about our unplugged ceremony. I wanted to introduce you guys to my mom's cat who I grew up with. Her name is Pebbles and she's a tabby cat, but I cannot find her anywhere. I don't know where she disappeared to, but hopefully I can find her later. And in the meantime, let's go get started. So what I used to make my signs were actually old kitchen cupboard doors, which I found at ReStore for Habitat for Humanity. And it was a super good deal. They were either one, two, or three dollars, depending on the size. So I grabbed up a whole bunch of them. And the first thing you need to do is sand off all of that exterior paint and sealant and all of that kind of thing so that you can stain it the color that you want it to be. Next, you just wanna take a slightly damp cloth to wipe off all of that extra dust. Next is one of the fun parts, it's the staining. So I chose a dark walnut color because we're really incorporating a lot of those dark woods. And you really only have to stain around the edges if you're planning on doing a chalkboard paint center. But I just decided to stain the whole thing, just in case, to give it that extra layer. And then you just leave it out to dry for as long as it needs, basically until it doesn't feel sticky or tacky anymore. Once it is dry, you'll want to add your chalkboard paint to the center, and only on one side. For the lettering, I designed what I wanted it to look like using PicMonkey.com, as I use all the time. And then what you do is you put it up against a window, and on the back, you want to trace the outline of the lettering in order to get it as perfect as possible, because we're going to do a transfer later on. Once you're finished the outline using a heavy graphite pencil, you're going to want to shade it all in as dark as you possibly can so that the transfer will go onto the wood. Once you've done that to all of the writing, you're going to want to figure out the placement of where you want them on your sign. This is how I placed mine, nice and evenly spaced apart. Once you've decided the spacing, you're going to want to gently tape them down and then start using another pencil to heavily draw over top of the letters in order to press that graphite on the other side down onto the wood. And as you can see, this is what it's going to look like. So it's going to leave you very, very easy lines to follow when you're painting over it. One of the final steps is painting the lettering. So this is actually my favorite part. I find it very relaxing, but it's very tedious and time consuming, especially with small lettering. So it takes a lot of time and a lot of patience, don't rush it. And when you're finished this, just apply a nice clear coat of sealant over top. Um, I wouldn't recommend putting it over top of the chalkboard paint because then it just looks like black paint and doesn't have that matte look anymore. But you can if you want to, if you want a more shiny look. And that's all there is to it. Chances are I'm going to be able to sell these for more than I paid for them after the wedding, so I'm very happy with how they turned out. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you want to see more of my Wedding Bell series. Bye!